insane. Another reason why I'm starting to believe women should absolutely not get married. The audacity that these married men have. They are very confident. I feel like married men are the most single. They are the most single men out there because they have this audacity to just walk up to any girl and just, you know, and they'll be confident and tell you, yeah, I'm a married man. I have three kids. Uh, my wife, like, they're very confident. And most of them even cheat with their rings on. The audacity. <laughs> Let me read this clip for you to watch the end. This lady is explaining a married man that woke up to her when she had, was having lunch or dinner with her friend at the restaurant. Very interesting. Let's watch it together. <laughs> I see why women are not getting married because one thing these married men have is the audacity. So I'm literally just getting back from brunch, about to get ready again to go meet another friend at another lounge for her birthday get together. So as me and my friend are sitting down, this one guy, like the waitress came over and was like, hey, the guy over there said the tab is on him. Like he just, like she just like covered up like the, the receipt, like the receipt was already mm -hmm. paid. And I was like, oh, okay, because we were waiting for the check. So I was like, oh, okay, that was so sweet. So, you know, I'm looking back and I'm like waving, like I'm saying thank you. And so I pulled up the number. I put up the receipt and it has a number on the back. So I'm like, well, who, who is this number for me or my friend? So I'm like, who did he get this number to? Because even if he didn't give it to me, I just want to thank him. Like that was really sweet because you really yeah. didn't have to do that. <laughs> my friend, she uploaded in the TikTok video. <laughs> anyway. Was, where was I? Oh, yeah. Like, he didn't have to do that. So, he was like, oh, it's for one with the long hair. My friend had a little cut. Like, so, obviously, it wasn't her. So, I was like, okay. So, I texted him, like, thank you. Although, I'm, like, spoken for. I'm like, let me just say thank you because that's the nice thing to do. Yeah. Right? So, I said thank you. And then, on the way back, I'm like, all right, let me just thank you. So, my friend, like, just send him a text. You know, tell him that you're spoken for. But just, like, you know, say thank you again. Yeah, yeah, So, I'm like, okay, I'll do that. So, I send a text. I'm like, thank you so much. I really appreciate you for what you did. <sighs> You know what this man sends back and said? I'm going to show y'all. Y'all, look at this. I said, thank you. That was really nice of you. And God bless. He says, hey, I think you're... This is a, literally a few minutes ago. He says, hey, I think you're beautiful and I couldn't pass up the opportunity. I am a six-figured married lawyer and would love some company as I am not getting some at home. Because my wife is busy, is a busy stay-at-home mom tending to our twins. I do have a partner who I, I do want a partner who I can be intimate with, but I cannot give any finances. I just, it just would be pure pleasure for us both. How does that sound? I responded, "You have lost your damn mind. Nobody with morals and sense is doing this. And not only that, you got to nerve to not get any hush money. Please get off my phone, sir." We are losing recipes. We are losing recipes. Back in the day, if you wanted a side piece, at least you could afford one or wanted to buy one. Like, what was her name? She was on a TV show. She was a side piece, but like, he was like paying her everything. I forgot who had a side piece. I literally forgot the name. name of the people. Was it Jock and Carly Rae? It was somebody of Love and Hip Hop. They had a side piece. Or oh, was that Kirk? Somebody had a side piece and they was like paying for everything. At least you're going to do it. Do it right. <sighs> I'm a taking woman and everything. I'm just like, this is some BS. Are you entertained? Another reason why I'm starting to believe women should absolutely not get married. You want a side piece, but you're not ready to give finances. <laughs> the audacity. The audacity. If you're still a woman mom with twins, check on your man. <laughs> it could be him. <laughs> hey, beautiful people. How are you doing today? Check out Mariah Davis and I'm back again. With another interesting video, another video to tell you, is marriage really worth it? Is your man really going to be loyal <laughs> even after sacrificing your, your body to win? Does that really keep a man <laughs> from going out there embarrassing himself? <laughs> <sighs> the part that got me was... I just want you know pleasure and i'm not i'm not i'm gonna give give up finances like you want free you're taking free labor at home and you want to go and meet another woman <laughs> you want to cheat on your wife with another free <laughs> let me know your thoughts about video down in the comment section let's go ahead and listen to what other people have to say about this post <laughs> Mitchell said every married woman with twins will see this. <laughs> We're thinking it's your husband. 
I always tell the married man, you have to pay to play. That usually deters them. I had one fool tell me, my wife is married. <laughs> my wife is married. I'm not. <laughs> I had one tell me this too. I was like, but sir, you were there. <laughs> That's my uncle being at on the innate is eating jello fries as we speak. <laughs> my uncle had a mistress in the early twenties and he was paying all our bills. Is I don't give a fuck what is going is got going on. The thing is somebody is agreeing because it's too comfortable accent. I feel like he has that's how he, I feel like that text message is already drafts on his phone. So that is the way he sent it out like it will just pay for food and you know see i feel like you can easily get get young girls with that kind of young girls are very naive with that kind of approach and be like you know i'm like i'm going through a lot of my marriage my wife doesn't have my time since we have the twins like she doesn't want let me touch her you know like she's just all oh, yeah you know you can just get all emotional then the young ones are just growing they're just like oh it's really nice like i actually prefer my meal and it just want it just likes me like it wants love run <laughs> run run is been ah my husband is doing this now and i'm pregnant i'm divorcing of course but yes married single men i'm so sorry sis it was the i cannot give you finances part that pushed it over the edge for me even me he said it immediately like look sis is just doing the do and that's it <laughs> don't ask for no money he's delusional and why would he think i would be interested i don't know him the audacity you want to cheat and you don't have money are you all right nigga naomi said i am cracking the fuck out did he reply <laughs> married men are the most single men i know no i blocked him okay the creator said she blocked him after he saw that he has read the response. It's nothing else for me and him to talk about. Prom. Mama said marriage is a trap. Don't do it. <laughs> Talking about pleasure. Pleasure for who? <laughs> Why did he say that it was wealthy if he wasn't trying to break you off? The thing is, the creator responded and said, my my thing is, why would you think I would be okay with doing that? You're married, sir. You thought I was going to say, okay, sure, we can do this. <laughs> I don't want nobody's husband. <laughs> this is sad and hurtful. My heart goes out to his wife. So where is your pleasure? <laughs> oh my God, I cannot with some of these men. He wants pleasure. And the only way that she might have gotten her own pleasure it's money, it's sprinkle, sprinkle. But he said boldly, like, I want pleasure, but I'm not ready to give up any finance. So I'll call you when I want to do it. We'll do it. And you go. <laughs> Dora said, Alorine, I love your response. Like, hush, like, no hush monies. Like, excuse me with that added. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't stop laughing. I mean, why mention money if you're not going to give any? You said you're okay, you're financially okay, but you're not going to give money, meaning you know what you're doing. I just, I just feel okay. No money, no cookie. Per. That's for people that want to do married men. <laughs> Anyways, let me know your thoughts about this video down comment section. For me, I feel like the audacity that these married men are having. I'm not shocked. I feel like most men <laughs> that are married are the ones that have the audacity. And I feel like they are very bold to talk about all these things. They can easily just throw you and be like, throw this shit on you and be like, okay, this is what I want. It's because they have nothing to lose. They already have a play, um, a play, my, or I don't know how to put it. They have somebody they are playing with at home. So they want someone to play as a toy outside. And most of them are not going to give you money. They will use you. 
<laughs> after using him, they move on to the next person. I just feel like ladies that might want to think it's genuine for you to consider it. Ha. Huh. Raw no. <laughs> Raw no. Don't let them use emotional blackmail to take you away and tell you, oh, my wife doesn't care about me. I feel like I'm bored. I just need someone to be hanging out with. Raw no. Because once you get into a deep, it's might be very difficult for you to leave because, of course, you might want to get emotions as well. And <laughs> Raw no. My sister, Raw no. Hmm. Anyways, let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. What is your take? Has any married single man <laughs> told you something like this before? What was your reaction? What would have been your reaction? Did she reply well to me? I feel like she gave him glass balls and that is it. Next time, he will, not, he will look at face before he send that kind of message. Just because you paid for a meal. You think you can. Thank you all so much for sticking around to this point. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe and kindly turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified once I upload another interesting video like this one. And of course, I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.